Hello and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. Today we're going to be talking about trains. In my recent playthrough on a live stream world, I've been laying down a lot of track. Quite a bit of track. I've got over 50 trains in this world and it's a pretty much a worldwide network full of trains going everywhere delivering all kinds of things all over the place. What I really want to talk about are the problems with trains. There are a few. And today I'm going to talk about one of the worst ones, which is the signal loops back in on itself and how you can solve it. To do that, I'm going to demonstrate the problem first. And we're going to jump over into Creative World where I've set up a track with a T intersection using two lanes, which is pretty common. I've got maybe a dozen of them running around in my world. When you have something like this set up, the, the typical thing that you want to do is set up path signals. And the most obvious place to put them is kind of minimize the amount of area that you're going to need for path signals. Put those in, put the block signals on the exits, and nothing. So you get this dreaded signal loops into itself warning. But if you're looking at this and you're seeing the directions and you're using your brain, this shouldn't be that way. This should not be a problem at all. Um, it really doesn't loop back into itself. And so I think this is a bug. Uh, this has been happening since 1.1. I've seen a lot of people posting on Reddit and Facebook groups just complaining about this particular issue. Now, fixing it is actually really, really simple. And to understand why the fix works, I think it's important to understand the signals that the game has given you with the color of the tracks. When you have a path segment, the colors will match if it's all in the same segment. If you notice, this is red, this is red, this is red. This one is a different color. So this one is probably okay, and you might be able to leave it alone. But I tend to just fix this everywhere. So what's happening is, when you place the signals on a junction where two tracks or more are coming out, what's happening is one of those tracks is getting registered as being behind this signal and one of them is in front of the signal. And so the one that's behind the signal gets counted and brings in the rest of the loop. So to fix it, what I found and what other people have suggested online, you just move all of your path signals back from that junction. This one wasn't showing that same problem. And now you see the colors are all different. Each one of these segments is now a different color. You could probably leave this one here, but I don't trust it. Because on a reload, it might break. So I just try to make sure that when I have some kind of intersection like this, where I want to use path signals and make sure that the path is nice and smooth and that everybody can go through it, I just move them all onto individual tracks so that there's no branching on the tracks that the path signals are on or the the regular block signals either. So I'm hoping this gets fixed in 1.2 or an early experimental uh, version of 1.2 because I feel like it's a little bit annoying to do. You have to give yourself a little more space in order to make this. This is about as compact of a T intersection as I could make to demonstrate this and the fix at the same time. The loops on the outside are just so that the tracks will actually finish. All right, there you go. This is a very simple fix for a very annoying little problem. There have been a few reports of this in the Satisfactory Q&A site, so I'm going to link one. Maybe I'll make a new one and gather up a bunch of other posts where people have talked about this particular problem. If you find that this is annoying, go there. Give that a thumbs up. Uh, the Satisfactory QA site is really the way that they gather feedback for the game, and you can let the developers know that this is an annoying little thing that they should probably fix. If a lot of people are experiencing it, which is what I've seen, then probably they will. If you think this is important, go like that. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you would give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I want to do a series of these videos where I talk about train pains. I have five or six ideas lined up. If there's anything in particular that you have found really painful with trains and you want to know how to solve it, leave a comment and I'll pop that to the top of the queue. All right. Thank you very much as always. I hope you enjoy this video and choo-choo, my